Not long after the Canton superintendent made his recommendations, some Timken students started this Save Our Schools petition. About 300 people have signed it so far. When we feel like there's something wrong, we're going to say it. Timken student body president Ashanti West is behind the petition. She's worried about lost traditions and Timken's identity if the high school merges with crosstown rival McKinley. We're just trying to make a point. We just want our voices to be heard and we want him to hear us. Superintendent Adrian Allison feels there's no longer a need for two Canton high schools because of declining population and budget concerns. I did not put the recommendations out there lightly. I put them out there because I believe that's what's in the best interest of students. But plenty are questioning the suggested changes because Timken wouldn't completely close. Ninth graders would attend the freshman academy there, while all sophomores, juniors and seniors would go to McKinley. What's the point of occupying two buildings? when we're already occupying two buildings. Bill Turbovich, a 1956 Timken graduate, also isn't happy. We aren't as dumb as they think we are. We know what's going on. He believes McKinley is getting preferential treatment because it's traditionally a football powerhouse. And he says Timken boosters may refuse to provide scholarship money if the plan goes forward and Timken's name or colors are not part of the singular school. They completely shoved us under the bus and took off. Nothing in the proposal mentions Timken. The super cautions it's only a recommendation. Much more community discussion on the way. In Canton, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.